In this module, we will introduce a new protocol using in Adam, SNMP. We will go over the way that the protocol is typically used in the network and some hands-on with Adam modules. And here is today's outline. We will separate this PowerPoint into two parts. First part, we will talk about what is SNMP protocol. And the second part, we will do some hands-on. Here are the objectives you are expected to understand in this training module. SNMP stands for Simple Network Management Protocol. It was created in 1988. The purpose of its creation was to manage a growing number of network elements in a computer network. Although it can be used in connection to different systems, the method of querying information and the path to the Relevant informations are standardized. Slowly, this protocol started becoming popular and it formed the basic of network management today. A computer network system that uses SNMP for network management consists of three fundamental components. SNMP manager, SNMP agent, and management information base file. As the big no picture shown here, the SNMP manager is an application program and it will send SNMP requests to SNMP agents. Then SNMP agent will reply the SNMP manager for the request command. SNMP agent is a network management software module and it has the MIB file contained inside the module. The MIB file is short for management information base and it's an information database, and we will explain what is MIB file in more details in the following slides. The manager can be any machine that can send query requests to SNMP agents to get data. Also, a trap message is generally sent by an agent to a manager. Traps are mainly used by agents to inform manager of events that are happening on their manager devices. Let's see below picture which clearly explains the SNMP behavior between manager and agent. The most important part of the SNMP system to understand is MIB, Management Information Base. The MIB is a database that follows a standard that the manager and the agent adhere to. It is a hierarchical structure. In many areas, it's global standardized, but also flexible enough to allow vendor-specific addition. Each junction in the hierarchical structure is represented by a dot in this notation, so that the address ends up being a series of ID strings or numbers separated by dots. This entire address is known as an objective identifier, or we can call it OID. Here are examples for public OID and private OID. Hardware vendors that embed SNMP agent in their devices sometimes implement custom branches with their own fields and data points, like the blue square in the slide. However, there are standard MIB branches that are well defined and can be used by any device, like the red square in the slide. Let's see the requirement for using Aiden with SNMP. As the table shown in here, if customer already have our module, but it's in CE version, he can still have SNMP function by upgrading the firmware version without buying a new one. However, user need to use utility version after 2.5.10 beta 04 to configure SNMP setting of Aiden. Following are three hands-on for the extractor. First, we use the third-party SNMP software, MIB browser, and get some remote I.O. data by sending query. Let's see below example for how to get Aiden's I.O. data through SNMP protocol. As you can see, Aiden 6051 can be managed by the SNMP manager with the third-party software MIB browser installed in the laptop. 
the MIB browser have to load the MIB file. We will demo how to use the third-party SNMP software to query SNMP data of Adam in the first hands-on. Second, we will set the module by utility and test the trap function. Not only get the data from Aiden through SNMP query, we can also set the host IP to receive trap message when some alarms happen. There are some parameters we have to set in the utility, such like the host IP, the trap dead band, and so on. Third, use third-party software, Wireshark, to monitor the SNMP package. After having a basic concept of SNMP data, what our module support, we will use Wireshark to get some SNMP package and analyze its content. Okay, so let's go on to the first hands-on. Configure and monitor Aiden by SNMP management software, MIB browser. First, please download the MIB browser. The SNMP protocol has gone through many changes since it was first introduced. By the simple fact that V1 has been around so long, this version is still widely supported. V2C is a revision of V2, and it is the most popular version of V2 protocol. The key advantage is inform and get bug command and it enhanced the inter internet transmission security. V3 is the latest version of SNMP. Its primary features are enhanced security and provides three services, authentication, privacy, and access control. For Ada module, we support V2C and V1, and for our trap message, we support the V1. First, you have to do is press on the gear buttons for configuring MIB browser setting, and then you have to choose the SNMP version. In this example, we use V2C. Download the MIB file for Aiden 6000 series from our website. Please note that it used port 161 for sending and receiving. First, you have to do is load the MIF file. And then, you have to enter Aiden module's IP address in host. Second, choose the data you want to get. Last, send out the SNMP request by pressing the get button, here in number three. Finally, you can get lots of data from our module, like the below image shows. Here, we get the DI value. This is an example of setting DO channel. First, you have to select the DO values in a hierarchical tree. As we can see, the OID of DO value is like shown here at here. For channel 0 of Aiden 6266, its OID we have to add a dot 1 at here in the number 2. So we have to type dot one at the end of the OID. And for the high logic, we have to type one. For the low logic, we have to type zero in the set value here in number three. And last, send out the SNMP set request by pressing the set button here. And let's move on to the second hands-on exercise. Configure SNMP function using Advantech ASIC command or utility for SNMP trap. Aiden modules can send out trap message to the host IP address with alarm event happen. Maximum hosts to receive trap are 8. In a utility newer than 2.5.10 beta 4. You can set this configuration. First, you have to enable the checkbox. Second, enter the host IP. And last, you have to set the dead band. The dead band is set to determine the minimum intervals between triggers of two traps. It is set to prevent traps from triggering 
excessively by noise. These are the ASCII commands for configuring SNMP. We can also use this ASCII command to configure SNMP function. SMS last page. There are three main parameters we can set. Host IP, date band, enable or disable this IP. Here is an example for setting the date band 100 milliseconds by using ASCII command. Click this icon in the toolbar of the MIB browser. You can see the track pop out while, while you trigger the DI channels of ADA modules. When DI channel 0 change, the module sends out a track message to the host IP. We can see lots of information of this track by pressing the show details buttons. The most important thing is this specific type. Specific types means the different alarm, and you can check it in our user menu. What this is means, and in, in this example, we can see the specific type is one, and we check in our user menu. It means that our di zero change, and the result is it changed to high logic. And here we can see in the message. And here is the last exercise. Monitor SNMP package by using Wireshark. Aiden 6000 series support SNMP v1 that help users to manage Aiden 6000 series on the network. Furthermore, Aiden 6000 series also support SNMP v2c. Before catching the package through Wireshark, we have to know the data format of the SNMP protocol. SNMP v1 message contain two parts, a message header and a protocol data unit, PDU. There are two kinds of PDU. In here, you can see in the slide. One is for the get, get next, and set. And the second one is for the trap message. In this slide, we can see the difference between get and get next. Get will exactly respond the exact OID you request. The get next command will respond the next OID you request. For the data format of V2C, they are not only the previous function, but also have some new functions. In V2C, traps use the same PDU as get, get next, and set. The, and here is a new command for V2C. It's called getBug. GetBug request is the new function in V2C. It can get lots of OID in one request. In the MIB browser setting page, type in the get bug options. In this example, we set maximum repetition as 6 and non repeaters as 0. Under this setting, we can get 6 OID back by a get bug request. Following the instruction in this slide, we can get 6 OID back in one get bug request. We can get 6 OID response in one package, just like the image shows in this slide. As we can see, there are 6 items in the variable binding in this get response package. For the SNMP set package, in the workshop, you can type SNMP to get all package with SNMP protocol. In this set package with v1, to the port 161. From the screenshot, we can know the value we set 0 to 10.0.0.66. You can compare this screenshot with the data format image in previous page. This is the track package sent in from agent to management from port 161 to port 162. You can compare this screenshot with the data format 
image in page 21. And you may have a question, what is the timestamp here? And what is its role? Please note that this timestamp here is the time after module is powered on. And it's in 10 milliseconds. And in this slide, we will tell you some useful tips. User can follow the OID description to analyze the query data or send in the correct parameters to Aiden. Take the counter channels for example. If the channel of Aiden is set to counter mode, the SNMP query data user get is exactly equal to the counting numbers user want to know. And that's all for module 8 SNMP. Thanks for your watching.